Hello, welcome back to Nexus Corps. It's me, Richard, here to give you my deck Puwo Fiwu on Premium Ezuwu. Um this is post mysterious for Wuchun extra booster to win the 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 aggravane set. Um Bro, it's the fucking furry set. True. <laughs> Um, so our starter is none other than Crimson Lion Cub Kirf. Uh, yeah, you get to draw a card. Next up, uh, we're running four copies of a very shiny boy, which is, uh, Incandescent Lion, um, Brunette Ezel. So, it, it's, a uh, first ability is actually pretty important, because that's kind of how the deck functions half the time. So, you act if you have... Bowman and Gareth on board, you just Soul Blast Kirif and you ride this from hand. And then you get a gift, and then you draw a card. And then you just wonder, as well, and just keep getting stuff. But you gotta do that, this thing first. Uh, the other skill is when it attacks, you call a card from your hand uh, when it attacks. Yeah. But it's got Ezel in the name, so that's all that really matters. And it gets a gift. Next up, we're running four copies of more Shiny Boys. Blazing Lion Platinazzle. So what this does is you act Count of Blast 1 and you just change your drive checks. You change the first one, which is look at the top two, call one, at, and then trigger the other one. And if you have two grade threes in the soul, you can do it for your second or more drive checks. So that means if you use act, you change the drive checks of the turn, not just for this unit, and then you can go into Spear Cross, or Spear X, whatever it's called now, uh, and then... You just do it for your triple drive. And it also has Ezel in its name, and it gives you a gift. So that's fun. Uh, next up, we run more shiny boys, two copies of Raven-Haired Ezel. It's a grade three with a gift with Ezel in its name. That's mainly the reason. But the other thing to cool that's kind of cool is you can counterblast and ride it from your hand during the main phase. So it just helps you get extra grade threes in the soul if you want to go blonde Ezel. Use Raven's Counterblast, call Plat call Wonderezel, ride Platina from deck, and then you have two grade threes in the soul, and then you just go from there. So that's how it can be helpful. The other skill is if you have Blonde Ezel in the soul and attacks, you counterblast one, it gets 10k in a crit, or 15k in a crit, and your opponent can't use Sentinels, so that could be cool early game. So more Ezels. Uh, lastly for grade three is just running two Sagamore. Um, procs off Dindrain, you're drawing cards, it's a 12k beat stick, and it's a grade 3, so it's stride fodder. So, I like Sagramore. He's a good boy. Uh, next up is the most important card in this deck. Four copies of, uh, Knight of Superior Skills Bowman. Uh, when you ride or call it, you can discard a card and search for Gareth, so that's basically how you do the Superior Ride. Uh, and then when you call it from a card ability, it's 3k. So you just you just be good, have your opening hand be Bowman and Ezel, and then you just win. Fun. Uh, next up is four copies of a card that should definitely not be nerfed or hit in any way, shape, or form, because that would ruin the game and not be fair for Gold Paladin players. Oh no, please don't hurt us, Bushi. Uh, Kirf was the problem, I promise. Uh... When it's placed on rear, and if you have a standing Ezel Vanguard, uh, you or standing Grade Three Ezel Vanguard, you search your deck for an Ezel, ride it as stand, and it gets five k. So that's cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure it has to search a. No, what's really cool is you can just search a Grade Two if you really want. You can just search itself if you really want to ride another Grade Two. So do that if you just feel like being dumb. Uh, yeah, so just calling these on top of each other during the main phase, and since you can still spear cross or spear X during the main phase, that's fair. Yeah, I wonder if this kind of broken. Oh, speaking of broken cards, this thing's hilarious. Uh, what do you call it? Pro Providential Angel. So what this does, uh, this is the probably the only new card that, that I'm running from this Aggravain set, is Act... Uh, if you only have one or one or less cards in hand, you can kind of last one, and until the end of the turn, your opponent can only use a Sentinel once, and it gets 10k, 
which means this is your call target for Ultima. So you call this and Dindrain, use Dindrain to countercharge first, call a bunch of stuff from your hand, it doesn't even matter. Then when you have one or less card in your hand, you counterblast, and then your opponent can only PG once, which means they're going to PG Ultima, and then the rest of your attacks, they have to G-guard or use triggers from their hand. But stopping PGs from these big massive attacks are, is just... That's kind of dumb, but hey, this is pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. All right, uh, that was it for grade twos, because you don't really want to ride anything other than Bowman, so we kind of just limited it down to nine. I would, you, you just want a Jesus for Bowman, everyone knows this. Two copies of Gareth. Uh, Gareth, you only use for Bowman skills, so you only really need two. Uh, I haven't yet had a game where I lost both copies, like IE... I ride one, damage the other one. Oh no, no superior ride. Hasn't happened yet, but for the most part, the two are fine. I never use its skill for its counterblast. If I do, it's pretty rare. Um, but yeah, I never really use Bowman's skill that often to search Gareth's more than the one time during my grade two ride. So the two Gareth's are fine. Next up, I am not running lion, white lion combo. I am doing knight of vitality... Brainius. So Brainius has been in and out of the premium Ezel format and like kind of like play style what people have been doing. I'm deciding to use this because um, uh, you get to proc Wonder Ezel by riding and still being able to stride afterwards, which is cool. Um, it helps you proc off Dindrain, which is another key factor. So that's kind of what Sagramore's job was, but um, you can use so when you ride or when you stride because a, a unit a grade three or greater was placed on Van, you move it to Soul, draw a card, then you call a card from your hand. So if you call Dindrain, then you proc Dindrain. Uh, it fills the Soul, which is nice for Dindrain, Sagamore, and especially uh, Spearax. Um, so that's helpful, filling the Soul. And it's not a random Soul charge like how White Lion was. So there's a little more control with this. And, uh, you know, I'm just testing out. Y Lion is really fun. I really still love doing that combo because your opponent can purposely give you one damage and then you just do the White Lion and they're kind of like, wow, that didn't matter. So basically, if you want to do Y Lion, just trade these out for Sacred Twin Lion Beast White Lion. Uh, oh, and this has a 10k shield versus a 5k shield and it's an 8k base, so you can ride it. Uh, next up, three copies of Dindrain. Dindrain's a countercharger or a draw. Uh, it's a really good all-around card. If you countercharge, it gets 3k. Uh, it's really helpful when you call it out with Ultima because unlike um, Howl, uh, you have to soul charge to countercharge. This means you'll lose the trigger that you put on the top of your deck if you're going into Ultima. So this is definitely a good call target to get that countercharge back. So, yeah, three Dindrain. And uh, last for grid ones, Old Howl, because if you have a Nezzle Vanguard, you just counter charge and soul charge, and you counter blast a lot, and you get free soul, free counter charge, easy. Cool. Uh, main deck, non trigger. We're running one copy of the card that was limited as your starter, because that was the problem card. Um, Crimson Lion Cub Care for the old one. It's basically a fifth copy of Blonde Ezel. If you have Bowman in hand and then draw into this, you can still get a Blonde Ezel by calling this after you call Gareth. Move Gareth and this into the soul. Superior right of Blonde Ezel from the deck. It's essentially a fifth Blonde Ezel as far as you're concerned when you're running it. Triggers. Pretty simple. Crits win games. So we run four copies of the crit with the skill. Uh, four copies of Flame of Victory because I just haven't felt like changing it. And four draws because I really don't, there's no reason to run grade one PGs, even though there is space, but draw triggers are cool too. And four V series heal because uh, 10k triggers, and yeah, it's a pretty, pretty simple trigger lineup for the most part. It's just eight crit, four draw, four heal. All right, so on to the important part of the deck, the G-Zone. So I'm running three copies of Spear X. So Spear X skill is you can stride normally, or you can G-Zone when you're in Unite, 
Counterblast 2, discard any card from your hand, and you can stride it from face from the G-Zone face down onto your Vanguard Circle. Its other skill, once per turn, Soul Blast 1, flip any G unit face up, and you get to look at the top 5 and call 2. So, pretty free cost for the most part just to build a board, and um, you just get to be able to stride, even if you don't have stride fodder for Counter Blast 2, which you can get back because you counter charge really easily. Um, yeah, being able to stride while your opponent's at grade 2 or grade 1 is pretty dope. So yeah, that's completely fair. <laughs> I run three copies because I want to be able to do it three times if I want to combo with Platina. Uh, we're running four copies of Flip Fodder. So Master Swordsman of First Light Helios. Um, it's your Flip Fodder uh, because we do run... I'm running Heavenly Law in my build right now because why not? Nobody plays premium anymore, so at this point I can basically have a not very competitive G-Zone. And even if I did, this would still probably wouldn't change because there isn't much of a Link Joker presence in premium at all for the most part, so there's no reason to run Mithraazel. Uh, that could change. Who knows? I don't... Right now, it's not a thing. Uh, Helios' skill is once per turn unite, you uh, flip a copy of itself face up from the G-Zone and it gets an extra drive check. And then GB3... Uh, it gets 5k future rearguards, and your opponent can't guard grade 1 or greater. That could be relevant against um, Luard, maybe. Maybe if you're playing against uh, a Katrina player that's playing Loga, that can maybe help. But even then, G-guards guard just fine, so the guard restrict doesn't really do much. Uh, but it's mostly flip fodder, so that if you want to, you can go into Heavenly Law and just have a big board with big numbers. So that's pretty much it. Two copies of Heavenly Law. Uh, its main skill is when you unite, you kind of blast flip a copy of itself face up. Your board, uh, when it attacks, you look at top seven, call something, and then continuous, your board gets plus 2k for each face up Gurgit you have, so that's why you're running more Gurgits. Uh, Glorious Raining, because Excel markers are stupid and you just get a bunch of them in this deck, so. When it attacks, count plus one, flip itself, look at top seven, call equal to number of face-up G units you have. So helps push for game. And if you call three or more, you counter charge and soul charge, so it repays its cost. So yeah, you can just multi-attack G zones for situations. So and uh, the main finisher, how you win like 99.9% .9 of the games, it's Ultima. Uh, ultimate stride, you have to discard a copy of your Vanguard. Uh, on plays, kind of last two, search for four cards, call two, the other two go on the top of your deck, and then for the rest of the turn, whenever you trigger a unit, uh, whenever you trigger something, it, you give it to your board. So, yeah, if you have a full board with like four or five XL markers, they're all getting minimum 20k and two extra crits. So that's how you win the game. Uh, G-Zone. We're running three copies of Slamy Flare, because Slamy Flare basically gets buffed because V triggers and grade ones now have extra shield. And one copy of Elise because having more G units or flipping your G G Guardians helps you get to GB3 for Ultima. And that's basically it. That's the deck. This is the only new card. <laughs> uh so yeah. Um like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next time premium ever becomes relevant in casual play again. Bye! Ah!